All right, so I have come to realize that I don't have anything to put my popcorn in, and I do like popcorn. So I had to get this popcorn bucket. Um, no, I'm just playing. Uh, it kind of it kind of dawned on me like how how cool this was. I I, I really didn't care too much uh, for it at first. Um, and this is the Universal Studio Japan um, Nezuko popcorn bucket because uh, they have a whole Demon Slayer exhibit, uh, and it's nearly impossible to go at this time because of everything going on. So uh, I kind of was like, you know what? I'll just get the bucket. So I just grabbed it, and um, uh, it 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 really it really impresses me. The first of all, the weight, and then going from there, like you notice the box, how detailed it is, and then you start to notice how detailed Nezuko is. And then you just start to, to really like appreciate it more. Um, where originally I really didn't care too much for it. But now that I uh, actually have it, uh, I can appreciate it a lot more and, and see how much detail effort went into this thing. And how even though this is meant to be a popcorn bucket, they get a cheap little, not cheap, but a, a um, pretty little basic little thing, you know, an item to hold your popcorn while you're at an amusement park. It's actually incredibly well made. Um, every little detail about it, I, I freaking really enjoyed it. Uh, and you enjoyed seeing it and having it. And it's pretty cool. So um, let me go through some of the things. I'll try to go through this as fast as possible. Let me take off this strap. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Put that to the back right now. So here we go. This is the Universal Studios Japan um, Nezuko popcorn bucket. I believe the popcorn you got in it was like sugar plum flavored or, or something like that. And this this tag is actually incredibly nice with telling you that you can remove the little bag straps. Now, mind you that the bag, you never see the bag. The only person that ever gets to see the bag is the person that, that's wearing it, of course. So for the fact that they actually put that in, you know, a small detail that other people would not even care about, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, and on top of that, this little clear little card that Nezuko is on, uh, Universal Studios. Let me see that. It's kind of hard to see it, but um, you can see like the name he even has like Mr. Rengoku's, um, was it, I think it's called like Atusaba, the little handguard. And then the, the V is uh, Inosuke's broken up swords and everything. And then the R has a little checkered pattern like uh, Tanjiro. And so... There's like a lot of cool little, like neat little things. And like right here has the, has more of like the thing, um, checkerboard pattern. And then it has like the little train. So like if you start looking through this stuff, there's a lot of like symbolism and a lot of like, um, a lot of like the stuff that a lot of the characters have, either they wear or it represents them. So that's really neat. The, the amount of detail that went into that. So uh, let's get on over to Nezuko herself. Um, so she does have that little like dust covery guard thing and then she even has this little part on her head to prevent paint transfer which is nice to see now let's get a close look at her uh, very soft face the coloring is 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 it uh, i think it's coming off super pale on camera but she's the right color she has like that nice like um peach like skin to her and again there is a lot of weight to this thing it is it is hefty it is not it is not that I felt like they really didn't cut any corners. And and this is one thing that surprised me is this goes pretty far deep. You can see right there, like that's about like what, two inches um, into the box itself. And so what they could have done, they could have just made like her face, like the mold part. And then that, you know, that, that'd be it. But she's actually sculpted. Like if I put like my finger back in here and try to reach back, um, you could feel like all of her hair. Um, Kind of hard to get the camera, but you can see that her hair is sculpted all the way down, and even right here where her um, her legs are at, like that's even fully sculpted. Even down to her fingernails, they are sculpted as well, and they're painted. So I mean, it's it's really impressive the amount of detail they put into it, the wood grain on the box, and the lining of it, the painting of that, and again here's the straps, which is pretty cool. The door, I don't think the door. Yeah, I don't think the door moves at all. Even though it feels like it does. Oh no, it has a hinge. Huh. I gotta play with that later. Um Whoa, this is this is trippy. How 
Oh, that's pretty small. Like, like well, maybe only like yeah, well, whatever part that Nezuko can get into. There, let me see. Oh no. Like that there, like this line, like this line or so. Like this line, that that line, that's like as far back as it goes. So I mean, Nezuko takes up the front half where the popcorn takes up the back half. And so, um, you would get, like I said, you would get the popcorn in the back. But uh, since people just wanted these to collect the, just to collect this itself, they stopped um, putting the popcorn in it and they just started letting you take this and the popcorn separately. So that's how come mine was all fully wrapped up and everything and, and still pretty pristine, brand new. Um, which is really nice. Uh, you know, that means me as a collector here, I'm never going to have the popcorn because it's, you know, customs and all that stuff. They would throw it away or something. Um, I really want to know if this opens or not. I don't want to break it, though. Okay, it does. Whew, that's kind of scary. Okay, so the door is, on top of that, too, the door is completely, you know, detailed up as well, which is insane. Because it looks really nice. You know, it's dang like if like if Nezuko could like retract in there, you could close this. That would have been insane. But, you know, now you can have this cool little cool little thing like that. And that, that looks pretty cool. And uh, I mean, overall, like I said, this thing is really well built to this. This hinge is nice and firm, like any angle you want it to be. And it'll do it like no problem. And then you got the whole other side of this box as well. Kind of scary pulling that off. Not going to lie. I felt like I was going to break it. Um. And then these do come off, 100, like all the way come off, push down and up or something. Oh, there you go. So these do come off. They're just clipped in. That's actually a pretty good clip. Like you can hold it. Can I hold it? From, yeah. You can hold it like that, even though you're putting pressure on that. It's kind of scary. But I mean, I mean, this thing is impressive. The way they built this, the way it's put together, that's kind of scary. But um, this is really cool. I really like this. <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to carry it around the the freaking uh, theme park, though. It's it, it's hard to say the weight. It's it's very heavy though. Um, and then I do like this this little detail about how these retract, so you don't have these always protruding and poking up when you're not using them. That makes it really cool. So th like, like I said, like at the beginning, like I really didn't care too much about it because um, I do like the show, but I'm not super crazy about Nezuko. Um, I like Shinobu a lot more. I think she's, um, I think she's really cool. Uh, and so I, this really didn't, really didn't catch my eye. But uh, I was like, you know, let me just get one. Uh, I kind of have all of the Shinobu stuff already from the Universal Studios. This is like the biggest. This is like the main piece. This is like the main thing everybody wants. Um, or just mo most people want anyways. And so uh, I was like, you know what, let me get it. And so I got it. And then now having it, I'm just like, wow, this is this is really impressive. This is really cool. The the amount of detail they put into it, like this, this, they didn't have to do this. They didn't have to put straps on it, but they did anyways. You know, the popcorn opens up from the back. That's really neat. Um, The door, the door didn't even have to be there, but they added that too. Sure, you can't close it, but I mean, it, it stays nice and stiff and locked in there. The hinge is, is incredibly solid. Uh, I don't feel like like opening and closing it is just going to randomly snap on me one day. Um, the figure itself, great colors, great um, detailing, little detailing throughout uh, the paint application. Um, it's, it's just, you know, really nice. And then, of course, you got the strap to go with it. And then the strap, it's a nice strap. I'm not a big fan of the... Um, just painted on stuff like this this like silky painted on stuff i prefer like a embroidered um but i mean everything you're getting already it just it just feels good like like it's nothing really to complain about it's solid um it feel, feels and looks great like uh, i didn't again i didn't think i was gonna want it but now that i now that i have it i'm looking at it i'm like dude this is actually really cool and uh something that uh i'm, I'm happy to have now it's like it's a lot cooler than i was gonna be um so yeah, it's a really neat, really cool. Um, will I ever use it? Maybe. If they have another Demon Slayer movie, I'll, I'll probably for sure take this. And Even though I can only put like two handfuls of popcorn in here. Um, you know, I'd, I'd still take it for the heck of it, just for the fun of it. 
Um, or maybe not, because I don't want to get it dirty. <laughs> I don't think this is going to be as easy to clean. Um, i got to play with it for a little bit and see how I can take this apart or put this together. Um, and so you can see the Universal Studios Japan on the back side of it. If I can get it to focus. So you can get a clear shot and you can see the Inosuke and the Mr. Rengoku. And then the A has something else. I think it has Nezuko's little, her little hair, a little, that different color on the A. So uh, overall, that's, that's what I got for today. Um, super cool. Uh, really impressed. A lot better than what I thought it was going to be. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And sorry I went on for a little bit too long. And uh, thanks for watching.